marriage is a marvelous institution where a young couple forge a union to go together to fight against problems that they never would have had if they never got married in the first place. The unlikely mixture as the topic for our discussion today. I'm going to read the first paragraph from chapter 13 of If You Love Me, Show Me by Judy and myself. There it is. We. Jesus chose the most unlikely mixture of people to follow him and start the new covenant of grace. Some basic, thing, uh, basic fisherman, a cheating tax collector, a prostitute, to name but a few. The list is long. Suffice it to say that they had remarkable unity for a group of people that apparently had nothing in common. There were disputes to be solved and astonishing attitudes to be corrected in biblical days. But the times have not really changed the root of the question. How to see that love grows despite the erosion of time and familiarity. Mm. An unlikely mixture. Are we not that? Yeah. Well, any community is going to be an unlikely mixture. Any community. Whether it's uh, kids in a schoolyard, whether it's people in a workplace, uh, any community is going to have diverse people. Mm. Just looking at the place where we live right now, yeah. there are, what, uh, 10 houses on this road. Okay, and I will guarantee that the people who live in each house are actually different from each other. But we're thrown in to live together and on the same street. And in general, we don't have too many problems. But the thing is, with the unlikely mixture, I, I'll never forget what Joyce Meyer said in one of her uh, teaching tapes. She's, she was talking about compatibility. And personally, I think that the concept of compatibility is, is, is overblown. I think it's overblown because I, I love the way she said it. She said, honey, ain't nobody compatible. And I, I really believe that, that once we start living with, with anybody on the face of this earth, there are going to be issues that where we're not compatible. If you think about it, it's logical because I grew up with uh, a certain environment mm -hmm. in, in a certain country uh, with parents who came from a certain background and that led to a way that I was raised. Sure. Larry, on the other hand, was raised in an utterly Completely different way. Completely different. And yet, God chose this unlikely mix to come together. Yeah, yeah he chose us to be a perfect fit Although we have astonishing unity, but we have, we, we're still miles apart. We're very different people. But because myself, I'm the quick thinker. I'm the fast, everything goes fast with me. My brain, my, my speech. But it comes fast and it goes fast yes. as well. Where Judy is a ponderer. Well, she'll, she'll sit and take apart a situation. And like being an accountant, you're taking, a, uh, uh, taking apart money things and everything. We have completely different mentalities, yeah. but we so help each other because of that diversity. I need his quickness and mm -hmm. he needs my slowness. Absolutely. Because my slowness goes deep because he skims over the top, but like, you know, the skimming stones? Yeah, the skipping rocks, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's going on the surface and he gets to the other end really, yeah. really quickly. But he, he doesn't know what the depths, he doesn't know yeah. what's going on underneath him. Whereas I do. So the, the concept of unity, I think, is very important here yes. because because it doesn't necessarily have to do with compatibility. No, it's it got has to do, to do with, with what it. your focus is, yeah. what your goal is. Now, our goal was to found a family, to have a successful marriage, and within all of that diversity um, and, and mixture, we had a common goal. But, but there was one thing that was absolutely crucial. Mm -hmm. I think, for me. Uh, and that was the fact that both of us believed we had a similar belief yes, yes. system. Well, once, we, once I met with Jesus, that yeah. changed everything. Because I, th I think that if I had been a believer and he hadn't been a believer, I think they, the, 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 I think the ship may have Water sunk. sunk yeah. Now, next week, we're going to revisit Benzer and Sandra as they tell us more about how they plan to spend time with each other and put it aside. Bye-bye now.